Hi, welcome to another edition of the Alan Rosenberg Show. So, quick video. Uh, this today's Sunday and Friday night and Saturday night. Um, I was lucky. I live on, live on Long Island, and they have uh, free concerts in the parks. Usually, they're like cover bands, but this weekend they had two bands that I am a huge fan of, cult bands. And I'm going to do a rant video today about. Why is it that there's some cult bands, I call them cult bands, bands that I really like that have multiple albums, but they never really made it big, but they should have. Today I'm going to be talking about two bands, The Smithereens, who just celebrated their 40th anniversary, and Antigone Rising, an all-female rock band that are also phenomenal. So I saw Antigone Rising Friday night, The Smithereens were last night, and it was free, in the park, and these guys are great. So a little bit of background, uh, Antigone Rising, and this is gonna, I'm going to rant about ticket prices and the Springsteen thing and why cult bands don't make it so big sometimes and radio. It all goes together. Here's an album that Antigone Rising released. Um, it was their major label debut. Before that, they were an independent all-female band trying to make it. They released Antigone Rising's Fly Traveling Circus, uh, live stuff, great material. Um, Another one called New and Used. This was one of their first albums recording. Then they finally make it. They get on Lava Records and Atlantic Records offshoot through. Um, uh, they have a deal with, um, what is it, Starbucks, Hear Music. And they release this album from the ground up. And this is a live album, although I don't really consider it live. All the songs are live and you hear audience in between, but it's really... I don't know. To me, I don't really consider it a live album, although all the songs are live. This album was a top three album for me on the Alan Rosenberg Show since 1973. 73, I do my top three most played albums of the year, and in its year, this was number three. So, I mean, I love this album. There's multiple versions of it. You could find this album for like two bucks at used record stores. If you see it, get it. If you don't know who Antigone Rising is, do me, do you a favor. Go check out on Spotify, Don't Look Back. It's unbelievable. How That Song is not a massive hit. It's a classic in my house. She's Not Innocent is another one. Open Hearts and Doors is beautiful. Michael is another track. These are songs. Long Shot, which is kind of acoustic on this. It's more of a rocker on one of their other albums. Better is incredible. Broken is magnificent. Go Spotify this stuff. You will thank me. Especially Don't Look Back. How That Song is not a... How That Wasn't a Hit, I have no idea. Now, Antigone Rising, after all those previous albums, they release this on a major label, and what happens? Uh, they kind of start making it. They open up for the Stones, Aerosmith. They start getting a buzz about them. Their lead singer is a woman named Cassidy, who's the main songwriter, I guess, and... Uh, I don't know the details, but she leaves a band or tries to go solo. I'm not sure. Come back a couple years later with a new singer and songwriter named Nene Camps, and they released this album called 23 Red. It's autographed there. And they reinvent themselves. Uh, Cassidy, on the, this, the original singer, she's in the middle, She's got a more raw voice, some of her stuff, almost like Beth Hart, uh, more raunchy kind of sound. This is a much cleaner version of the band, very much like country rock, very smooth, but absolutely great stuff. And this is their most recent full-length release called 23 Red from a couple of years ago. Go check out No Remedy, Everywhere is Home, Borrowed Time. These are amazing songs. If you like country rock and melodic, great, tuneful stuff, you'll love this. Nene Camp's got a beautiful voice. Uh, it's a very sweet voice that you'll fall in love with, and they're a terrific band. Then they start releasing on their own. These are like uh, EPs, in a sense. Uh, Whiskey and Wine, Volumes 1 and 2. Great stuff. Game Changer is a great track. Go check out Weed and Wine. It's a really fun, upbeat party kind of a song. Everything changes. Great stuff. Their most recent release that they just put out is this one called True Joy. And oh, go, go listen to Avalanche, uh, Switchblade. I'm telling you, one listen, you'll fall in love with this band. Saturday night, I go see the Smithereens. 40 years these guys are going. 
uh, when they first started, this was their debut album, especially for you. Oh, my God. My friend Sandy turned me on to them, and I was like, this album is incredible. And it is. I mean, if you don't remember them, go <laughs> go check out Strangers When We Meet. Um, time and time again. Behind the Wall of Sleep. Uh, well, she played the bass guitar, and she was singing in a band, and she stood just like Bill Wyman, now I am her biggest fan. Phenomenal. Great lyrics, great song, Blood and Roses, Blood and Roses, it's just, just phenomenal. I mean, a great classic debut album. I guess it was kind of a hit, I don't know the chart placing on this, I'd have to look it up, but great. The second album... Green Thoughts, uh, also really strong. Uh, just, you know, they have so many good songs. Only a Memory, Only a Memory, Drowning My Own Tears, Spellbound. Great stuff. They have a ton of records. Um, you want to experience them on album, you don't know them. Here's a Greatest Hits, a Best of, best of the Smithereens, Blown to Smithereens. Great stuff. Top of the Pops, Top, Top, Top of the Pops. Uh, they have a lot of albums. Their latter career, they started trying to try to make it again by uh, doing like uh, covers albums of Beatles, covers albums. They even did a version of Tommy. I mean, they're great musicians and a great band. Pat Denizio, uh passed away. He was the leader of the band, the lead singer and the main songwriter. He passed away. I saw them Saturday night, and now they're reinventing themselves. Like Antigone Rising reinvented themselves with a new singer and a cleaner sound. The Smithereens now have Marshall Crenshaw who's phenomenal. Check out my greatest debut albums of all time video, and Marshall Crenshaw's debut album is in there. So he's singing lead, and uh, apparently he knew the band when they were starting out, so there was a relationship there. Um, so uh, maybe the Smithereens will continue with Marshall Crenshaw. It's an interesting concept, and it worked really well. He sang really well, and they were talking about Pat Denizio a lot. The Smithereens, Antigone Rising, it made me feel so good. Two great bands playing for free. You know, there's this controversy. Springsteen's going to tour, and I'm a huge Springsteen fan. And they're talking the tickets are like $4,000. Not that he priced them at that, but because of demand. You know, I've, been, I've seen hundreds of concerts in the 70s, and it's really interesting. Maybe one day I'll show my concert book. But I have every ticket stub and the original ads of every concert I've ever seen. And we're talking about the Stones and whoever it is, you know, uh, and seeing concerts at the Nassau Coliseum, Madison Square Garden, local places like the Calderon and Westbury Music Fair now. And, you know, back in those days, the ticket prices were like eight bucks, eight fifty, twelve dollars $12 was expensive. And you could go see multiple concerts in a month. I used to see multiple concerts in a month. Now you go to a, main, a big concert, the, the parking is 50 bucks. Really? Are you fucking kidding me? The parking is $50? You know? I can go to concerts now, and I do. So I stopped going to concerts like that. I won't do it. I haven't seen the Stones. I'm one of the world's biggest Rolling Stones fans, and I won't see them. You know, I'm not paying thousands of dollars and uh, to see the Stones play, you know, a two-hour set of stuff they've been playing forever. It's just not worth it. They, you know. And Springsteen, I would love to see Springsteen with the E Street Band. He's still amazing. But I'm not spending because I don't go alone. So you're talking about me and my wife, and I'd like to bring my kids, four of us. I can go to Mexico for a week for to see Bruce Springsteen one night. Are you fucking kidding me? It's not going to happen. So, you know, it's very sad what happened. It's just a sign of the times that music is such a commodity that the only people who could afford to go to the big shows are wealthy people. I'm a working class guy. I work retail. You know, I'm not going to spend, you know, a month's pay to see somebody for two hours. It's just not worth it no matter how good you are. And you know what? You don't need the money. Bruce Springsteen's a billionaire, would it be? He made $500 million last year. You know what? I know you're not pricing the tickets at $4,000, but you could do something about it. It's ridiculous. Um, just my two cents. So you know what? Thank you to the Smithereens. Thank you for Antigone Rising. I know you'd rather play the garden and, and get charged, pay a lot of money. But you know what? You, these are great bands, and it's a shame they never made it as big as they deserve. But you know what? That's a whole nother video about radio won't ever play, you know? I don't know how you people, if you do, listen to radio or, or even pay for, like, you know, 
what is that, Sirius Radio? You know, I got like a free month on that, and I was tuning in. Yeah, I'm going to pay to hear Hotel California and Stairway to Heaven and Satisfaction. You know what? I'm my own radio station. I got 5,000 CDs, and all my cars are really old, so they have CD players. You know, the last thing I ever want to hear is Baba O'Reilly again, and I'm one of the world's biggest Who fans. But you know what? Don't you peop- don't you want to hear something different? You know, you re- you listen to the radio, and they, they play the same stuff over and over again. How could you get it? Ex- I'm on Long Island. Every other goddamn song is those five Billy Joe songs. I want to shoot myself in the head. Really? You want to play Billy Joe? Can you play something different than Only the Good Die Young? Oh, my God. Kill me. Kill me. But there's my rant. You know what? Why don't you goddamn play Strangers When We Meet? All you need to do is hear that song once and you will fall in love with it. Or Behind a Wall of Sleep. Or God knows. Get a little deeper. Go play uh, Avalanche from the new Av- Antigone Rising album. It's phenomenal. There is so much great music. You just got to be willing to hear it. And hopefully, tuning into my channel, I will turn you on to some music that you'll never hear on the shit-ass radio stations out there that will only play the same stuff over and over again. So hopefully, um, you know, you enjoy my little rant. Go check out Antigone Rising. Go listen to the songs. Go check out the Smithereens, a couple of their songs. You'll know them. You know, they'll come back to you. These are great, great stuff. And these bands should have made it bit if bigger. Only goddamn radio might play somebody else. But uh, And thanks uh, for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe. I'd like to know your thoughts. Um, you know, when you're a big music fan like me, I take this stuff very seriously. Uh, it's, it's an addiction. It's a love. And, you know, when you see your passion just become, you know, I remember my days of going to concerts and concerts, and it was great, and it was affordable for everybody. And now it's not affordable for everybody. And the only people who can go are wealthy. And that's okay if you're a fan. But you know what? I don't know how what kind of big fan these people are. They just go so they can say, Hey, man, yeah, I heard the Stones play Satisfaction. Really? You know? that, And they can afford to go. But I can't afford to go. There's something wrong with the system. And radio is also part of the problem. Play some goddamn music that's great that doesn't get played it's not fair for the artists and it's not fair for listeners who want to experience great music that they don't know there's my rant uh thanks for tuning in please hit subscribe uh check out my other videos that are not quite so frustrated (laughs) but it was a great great weekend of live music with the smithereens and antigone rising have a great uh, day the alan rosenberg shoe please hit subscribe and check out my other videos have a good one